Lessons with Troy.com. I'm Troy Burning Meyer. Well, in this week's lesson, we're learning my arrangement of the classic song, Keep on the Sunny Side of Life. We're in open G tuning. We're in the key of G. And if you're ready, go ahead and print out your tablature. Looks like this. And this is a pretty cool little bluegrass number with lots of unison slides, lots of rolls, lots of hammer-ons and pull-offs. And I think it'll be a good, uh, good challenge for your technique to play this one. So let's jump right on in and get going learning. Keep on the sunny side of life. Okay, so your first phrase is going to start on beat four of measure one of your tablature. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three. <laughs> So we'll just take this in small chunks to start off with. Here we go. Once again, one, two, three. Okay, so some interesting things going on with the rhythm here. Uh, first of all, that first part on beat four, measure one, is just using your thumb on your right hand on your fourth string and playing zero to two. Okay, so that's going to kick us off into the song. One, two, three, four, and. So those are two eighth notes. One, two, three, four, and. and then you play an open third string with your index finger. And then notice the rhythm underneath that. That's a dotted eighth note followed by a sixteenth note. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, and one. So, so you hold off that, hold that, that open third string just a little bit longer. Um, it's an eighth note with a sixteenth note added to it, basically, and then a quick open first string, and then you're going to slide from two to four on your third string. And you can let those ring out if you want, or you can use pick blocking to mute them out. Kind of like letting them ring. Okay, so lots of quick slides in this one. Okay, then you play an open first string with your middle finger, and then you're going to slide using your thumb on your third string, four to two, and then pull up to zero. And when you pull off, just pull straight back. Okay, so far we've got zero, two, open third string, and then a real quick open first string and then slide from two to four and then you're going to slide it back down and then pull it off to zero and then two on your fourth string and your bar is tilted up when you're getting these individual notes just so so you know so two on your fourth string then open third string and then open fourth string Okay, then we put in a little fill here, which sounds like this. That's just a, once again, that, that rhythm on measure three there is a dotted eighth followed by sixteenth note, which is this. As far as like um, how long you hold out that beat one. Open fourth string, then open first. Then you're going to do a quick hammer on on your fourth string, zero to two. Open third. Open first and open six. And that's what that sounds like as far as beat two and three. <clears throat> okay, so putting all that together, measures uh, one, two, and part of measure three is one, two, three, four. Again, that little fill there on measure three is open fourth string and then open first, hammer on zero to two on your fourth string, open third, open first, and then open sixth. And then the next part will st start us into our next phrase, which is. And just so you know, this starts off with the verse of the tune, and I've got that written in your tablature. So it's kind of an A, B form, um, verse, and then chorus. Okay, so let's jump on into that, that next phrase. Make sure 
show you that real quick. <clears throat> you're basically on on beat three there, right? If you play that open sixth string, you're going to play that open first string, and then open third. So one, two, three. That's how it falls rhythmically. One, two, three. That's just an open, that's right at the end of measure three there. That's an open first string with your middle finger, open third string with your thumb, with your index, you're hammering on zero to one on your second string. And then getting into measure four, open first string with your middle finger. Okay, so middle finger plays that open first string, and then again, and then you're gonna do a hammer on pull up on your first string, zero, two, zero. Open second string with your index, and now bring your thumb up, one, zero, and then on measure five, two on your third string. Now we're over that D chord. And now we're gonna fill it in with a little roll. So, oh. so that's second fret on your third string with your thumb. And then you're gonna do a roll, first string, fourth string, third string, first string. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so starting at the end of measure three, let me just play this phrase for you. One, two, three. Once again, at the end of measure three, open first string, open third, hammer on zero to one. And then measure four, open first string, open first, and then hammer on pull off, zero to zero on your first string. Open second. Bring your thumb up, first fret, open, and second fret on your third string, starting measure five, and then a roll, string one, one, four, three, one. Here's measure five. Okay, then that brings us into the next phrase. Uh, We'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that in the next in the next little segment. So, once again, for measures one through part of measure five, here we go. Starting, it's going to kick off right on beat four of measure one. One, two, three. Okay, and then we're ready to dive into the next phrase. Let's go ahead and do that now.